Hello, I'm Philip Brunel, Artistic Director and Founder of Vocal Essence and Organist Choir Master at Plymouth Congregational Church in Minneapolis. Well, usually we film these in Guild Hall, the beautiful room at Plymouth Church. But I thought, let's mix things up a little bit. And so today we are in my home. And here today we're going to talk about a wonderful American composer, Skip or Morton Lauridson. Born in 1943, definitely one of the most performed composers in the USA. He was professor for many years at the University of Southern California in composition. He is one of the few composers to have received the National Medal of Arts. He is recorded on more than 200 CDs, has eight vocal cycles, two collections, and lots of wonderful choral music. So today, I would like to play a little bit of his music to get you an idea of the beautiful style of Morton or Skip Lauridson. The piece I'm going to play part of is a piece called Prayer, a work that is based on a poem by Dana Joya. Dana was for a number of years the head of the National Endowment for the Arts in Washington, D.C., which is how I got to know him, and a wonderful poet. This particular poem was written in memory of his infant son who passed away. And Skip Lordson has taken this and made a beautiful soprano, alto, tenor, bass, and piano part. So this is part of the end of that lovely peace. I think that Lauridson is best known for several beautiful pieces of choral music that he wrote. Certainly one of them was a setting of Luxe Eterna, 
and a piece called Omanium Mysterium. And you can tell when a piece has really caught on because not only did he write it for chorus, but then he made a version of it for solo voice and piano. And this piece, which is called Omanium Mysterium, a piece for Advent season, O Great Mystery, is uh, again filled with that kind of beautiful line that Lauridsen loves to write with these luscious, wonderful chords that back up uh, the text and what he's trying to say. This is O Manu Mysterium by Morton Lauridsen. Have a wonderful day.